Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel and today it is time for our fourth annual uh, 2020 SHOT Show coverage and uh, every year what I do is I check out this article from Guns, Holsters and Gear and I bring you all the details that I possibly can on new firearms that are going to be coming out. Um, the, this Gun, Holsters uh, and Gear.com article, I'll have a link for it in the description box down below and we'll also put that in the comment section for you so you guys can click on it if you want to as this is a ever-growing blog of information. GH and G is always adding information to this blog, so make sure you check it frequently between now and SHOT Show to see what's going to be coming out. And so without uh, further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So Ruger has a tendency to introduce new handguns just about every year, and uh, this one was just announced this morning, the Ruger Super GP 109mm. Um, it is chambered in 9mm. We are looking at an 8-shot cylinder. And while it has a bit of a uh, pronounced gap there in the cylinder combined with the fluting, uh, the stainless steel, stainless steel cylinder is light for faster rotation. Uh, we're looking at an MSRP of $1,549 with a 6-inch barrel, uh, an 11-degree target ground, and a green fiber optic front sight, which should help you pick up those targets quick. Uh, looks like it does have an adjustable rear sight with a stainless steel finish. And uh, hopefully we'll be seeing this at uh, the SHOT Show preview. Okay, moving right along, we got the Kiapa Rhino Match Master. Now, this model was previously unavailable in the United States, and Kiapa is hoping to uh, have this model available soon in the U.S. Um, it's going to be uh, chambered in 38 Special with a 6-inch barrel. Uh, it's going to be designed for precision shooting. Uh, looks like it's going to run with an MSRP of nearly $3,000. does have an interesting target sight set up on the top there, which should help you if you're going to be any, doing any kind of competitive shooting or target shooting. So that is the Kiapa Rhino Match Master. Okay, up next, some more information. The uh, North American Arms Ranger 2 is going to be coming out. Uh, I don't have a picture of it, but this is the 4-inch version of the Ranger 2 that we showed you from SHOT Show last year. It's a brake top revolver. Uh, it's going to be similar to the Ranger 2, uh, including having a 5-shot cylinder. It does have a longer barrel this time around. It's going to be available in 22 long rifle and 22 WMR rimfire cartridges. The other one coming up here, and again, I don't have a picture of this one, unfortunately, but we'll see it soon. Uh, Charter Arms Professional. Okay, they're going to be releasing a 357 Magnum version of their Professional revolver. Uh, right now, the Professional is only available in 32 h and Magnum uh, as a seven-shot gun. Uh, we're imagining a six-shot 357 will be uh, displayed here soon, and it looks like it has a three-inch full underlug barrel with the green fiber optic front sight, full walnut grips, and uh, no price has been announced yet. And by the time you watch this, I'm sure we'll be seeing videos on that new professional very soon. Okay, up next we have the Bond Arms Grizzly. Now, if you're not familiar with the uh, the Bond Arms Grizzly, we did mention this last year. Um, it's part of what's called the Rough Series, and what it is is you get a little bit a little bit less finish on the uh, the rowdy pistol or the grizzly line and essentially it's going to help keep the uh the prices down on it now the grizzly is going to be chambered in 45 colt as well as a 410 bore shot shell i'm assuming that's going to be shot out of the same barrel uh grizzly comes with a leather holster as well and we're looking at an msrp of around 380 dollars with the holster not a bad deal definitely a lot lower price but again you are getting a derringer style pistol that's going to be having a little bit less finish on it than what you're used to seeing from bond arms now, another pistol that we mentioned last year, or I'm sorry, another SBR that's been converted to a pistol for this year is the Kiapa CBR9 Black Rhino, Black Rhino Pistol. Uh, it's going to be chambered in 9mm. It's going to have a steel upper receiver and a lower made of polymer. Uh, it's going to be designed essentially for personal protection, protection and professional activities, according to Kiapa. Uh, what else do we know? It also has the magazine is going to fit the pistol grip of the lower and there's going to be more details on it in this article you can check out and uh, it does look like a neat offering. We don't have an MSRP on that, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully we'll have more information on that soon. So that's the CBR9 Black Rhino from Kiapa. Okay, moving right along. We got the Sky DVG-1. This is another pistol that was just recently announced, probably just today. Uh, Sky has come out with a red dot, I'm sorry, a RMR or red dot optics capable uh, slide version of the CPX-2 and the CPX-1. I believe the 3 and the 4 also called the RD series. Well, this one's completely different. This is a little bit slimmer uh, carry model. Uh, the Sky DVG-1, it's going to figure, it's going to feature a, looks like a newly designed trigger with a pull of only 5.5 pounds, which is probably... Anywhere between three and a half to five pounds less than the current CPX2, CPX1 series. 
Uh, triggers are looking at a capacity of 10 plus one. I'm assuming it's going to be nine millimeter, but I also wouldn't be surprised if they come out with this in 380 like they did with their other Sky Pistols. Uh, no word on the price yet, but it looks like it's going to be a thinner carry model. Oh, and it's also going to be striker fired uh, instead of hammer fired like the uh, CPX2s. Okay, so you do have yourself a lighter trigger, which is a big complaint on the Sky Pistols. It's the heaviness of the trigger, although you can get used to it. Okay, moving right along, the Altor Pistol. So if you watch my uh, podcast, Caliber Corner, which is on Monday nights at uh, 6 o'clock Central Time, 7 o'clock East Coast Time on YouTube, uh, we talked about the Altor Pistol last week. Essentially, it's an inexpensive, single-shot, uh, self-defense pistol. Uh, there's only six parts to the gun itself. It is a regular registered firearm, okay? Uh, it does have a barrel twist to it where you twist the bottle, the barrel to bounce between fire and safety modes. I uh, believe it's going to be chambered in 9mm, and I can't remember if they have another chambering for now. Oh, yeah, 380 ACP also. We're looking at an MSRP of $119 for the 380 and $129 for the 9mm. Uh, it's made of stainless steel and nylon 6 material. The overall length of the gun is 6.5 inches with a height of 3.5 inches and a width of 1 inch. The only thing I will say about this is those dimensions. I wish it was a little more compact. I mean, I understand it does have its purpose, but it'd be nice if it was a little more compact because those dimensions really do match up with a lot of the other subcompact carry pistols that are out there. But we'll see if the uh, Altor pistol is going to be a success. Okay, up next, um, American Tactical is going to be releasing the Galeo pistol. It says it's fitted with a shockwave-like pistol brace. The new Galeo pistol is based on the company's Galeo rifle that's assembled from parts on a U.S.-made receiver in South Carolina. Uh, barrels are going to be 13 inches in length. The guns are going to come chambered in 5.56 NATO. I don't have a picture of it, nor do I have an MSRP, but I can guarantee you we're definitely going to see that one at SHOT Show. Now this one, this one definitely has my attention. The FN509 uh, Compact MRD Optics Ready uh, handgun. Okay, so I always said to myself I would never carry a, a compact handgun with a red dot on it. I just didn't feel like it was necessary, but the more that I shoot these RMR style pistols, the more I enjoy them. And uh, this is the FN model that we see in uh, Fly Dark Earth. I'm sure it's going to come out in also black. Uh, we're looking at MSRP of $799, an actual street price of so probably $700. Maybe even a little bit less. It's hard telling. You do have the taller sights, which will allow you to co-witness, which is definitely a bonus. Uh, chambered in 9mm, 10 plus 1, but it can also take 12 and 15 round magazines. Uh, low profile optics mounting system with plate adapters for more than 10 different optics. So pretty much regardless of the brand that you're running, if you're running a name brand red dot up on top of there or any kind of optics, it should be compatible with the FN509. Just a really neat little pistol that definitely has my attention as I was somebody that used to carry a uh, FNS 9C or compact model back in the day. All right, moving on, the Henry Lever Action Axe. This is a 410 chamber firearm called, called the Lever Action Axe. It's non-FA, uh, uncategorized firearm in the Mare's Leg style format. Uh, chambered for the 410 shot shell with an axe handle pistol grip and lever action. It's gonna hold five rounds of two and a half inch shells in the magazine. Uh, has a barrel length of less than 16 inches and an overall length of slightly more than 26 inches. MSRP on that is gonna be $970 from uh, Henry Repeating Arms. So hopefully get a little more information on that one down the road. Uh, also recently now available on the market is the MMP9 Easy Shield, in case you're not familiar with it. It's essentially the 9mm version of the 380 pistol that Smith & Wesson released last year, the 380 Easy. Uh, this one chambered in 9. We're looking at uh, 8 plus 1. It's got some MMP design cues to it. Uh, it's available with and without a thumb safety, mechanical thumb safety. It does have a grip safety on the back, but it does have a, a single action style trigger which is very crisp and does have a nice clean break to it. I've shown this off my channel before. Overall design and quality is great. It's very slim design for carry, bedside gun, range gun, with a uh, low tension recoil spring, I guess you could say, which makes chambering that first round very simple. And I'm already seeing these for $399 uh, on the market right now. And uh, the 380s are coming in even lower at certain places too. Also has a, a Picatinny rail up on the front for accessories if you wanna add a light or a laser. Uh, also coming out is the 4-inch version of the Kimber K6S, uh, going to be chambered in 357 Magnum, and they have full underlugs on the barrel. One's called the Combat. The Combat's going to have three dot sights and a set of three-finger diamond checkered grips that are rounded on the base. And so you can see the two different models here in the picture that we have. Uh, we are looking at MSRPs of $989.00. Target model has a red fiber optic front sight with a blacked out adjustable rear sight. Also grips are more squared along the bottom. So you can see the differences between those uh, two different models. Okay, moving right along. The STI Staccato R. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a picture of this one. There is a video here, but I can't play because of copyright reasons. But 
What's interesting about STI International, they're going to be discontinuing 70% of their product line in 2020. And we didn't know what was going to happen, but it looks like the Staccato R, uh, which is a larger version of the Staccato P, was recently added to the catalog. Uh, going to have whole, well, probably their speculation on a five inch barrel for um, for that model, but otherwise it's going to have features that are similar to the uh, P series models that are out there from STI and uh, hopefully have more information on that very soon. Okay, moving right along. Another one that you've seen tons of information from already on YouTube and, and other sources, the H&K or HK SP5, which is the sporting, I guess you could say civilian friendly version of the MP5 submachine gun. Uh, let's see, it's going to be semi-automatic, it's going to feature the uh, same magazines as the MP5, many of the other parts are, that are going to be shared with the MP5 also you see here on the uh, SP5, very close to the uh, original uh, SMG that's out there. So it's going to have the roller delayed blowback operation, uh, navy barrel with threaded tri-lug adapter, MP5 case sights, uh, paddle magazine release, 10, 15, and 30 round mags, fluted chamber, chrome line barrel, as well as the bungee type sling for the MSRP of $27.99. And it will be interesting to see if um, uh, Palmetto State Armory comes out with their version of their, their MP5 this year, which will give some, a little bit of competition for the H&K. Although I think people that are in the market for the H&K are maybe a different price point or maybe somebody who wants, you know, the real deal or the closest thing to the real deal. So time will tell uh, whether or not the SP5 is going to be uh, popular. I'm guessing it is going to be popular. All right, the Wilson Combat Exterior. It's a new line of 1911 style pistols from Wilson Combat. Uh, they have distinctive styling, match grade components, and uh, accuracy guarantees right out of the box. Uh, the guns are a blend of the company's top end options, which is kind of neat. You're getting a little bit of everything in that model. The Exterior line uh, is going to have barrels that range from 3.5 to 6 inches. I'm sorry, uh, 3.5 inch to 6 inch long slides and are available in both 9mm and 45 ACP. And uh, there's a video on this article that you guys can check out if you want to. Uh, don't have the MSRP on that, but we're probably, I think we're guessing somewhere around three grand, maybe 2,500 if I'm not mistaken. So we will see what those go for when they come out. Uh, Unita is coming out with their Precision UPR 10 and UPR 15 rifles. Uh, they're going to begin selling complete rifles using a redesigned bolt action upper. Uh, company's been selling bolt action uppers for the AR-10 and AR-15 rifles. However, this move is going to allow the company to, to match an upper to a lower for complete experience. Uh, customers will be able to buy the guns with uh, Shylin and preferred barrels, standard, or with proof research barrels as an upgrade. Also standard are the Luth AR stocks and Velocity single stage, single stage three pound triggers. Uh, standard caliber is going to include 6mm Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor, 243 Winchester, 223 Wild, uh, 224 Valkyrie, 6.5 Grendel, 300 Blackout, and they're saying 3008 Winchester. I'm guessing they're going to, they're trying to say 308 Winchester. It might be a typo there. Um, other calibers can be had as custom orders with pricing starting at $1,088. So maybe in restricted states or somebody who wants a precision AR platform uh, can go that route. Uh, Rock River Arms is going to be releasing their RBG IS bolt action rifles, uh, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor and 308 Winchester. Uh, they're going to be short action guns and KRG chassis with Wilson Arms fluted full barrels. And we don't have a price of them, but they're predicted to MSRP around $4,000 once they're released. But that's going to be some of the uh, first releasings of bolt action rifles from Rock River Arms. Uh, Kalashnikov USA is finally going to come out with a 762 by 39 rifle for the USA market, manufactured 100% in the United States. Uh, it's going to be based on the SK-74 rifle. Uh, MSRP of that's going to be for the KR-103 is going to be $999. Don't really know much about other features on it, if it's going to have a chrome line barrel or exactly what it's going to feature or have, but I'm sure we'll get more information from Kalashnikov USA. Again, not to be confused with the Kalashnikov Concern. Another interesting offering is the Silver Shadow Gilboa DBR and 22 LR. Now, if you're not familiar with these uh, Gilboa rifles, they're essentially double barrel rifles that feature two bolt carrier groups or two separate actions, two separate fire control systems, but I believe just one trigger. I've never had a chance to fire one. Um, they are chambered in 5.56 NATO, 300 blackout, 762 by 39, 308, and 9, 9 millimeter. Um, but the, they're also going to have the Shadow uh, Gilboa DBR and 22 long rifle this year. I uh, can't really tell you about the price, although I think that the 5.56 models are around $3,400. I could be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, the 22 LR will probably be around the same price, or it could be significantly less. Who knows?
Another one that has a lot of people excited is the Henry Sidegate 410 shotgun and 4570 rifle. Um, Henry Repeating Arms announced that it would have a new pair of guns at SHOT Show in January. Uh, we've got a Sidegate lever action 410 shotgun. The other is going to be a Sidegate lever action rifle chambered in 4570 government. Um, on both guns, the loading gate's on the right side of the receiver. Both models use a removable tube magazine, and both guns are going to have a retail price of $1,045. Okay, up next is the Marlin Model 60, 150th anniversary model. It's going to have a special edition with a wood stock and a commemorative emblem and stainless steel barrel. I believe we looked these up the other day. I want to say they're either 250 or 300 for an MSRP. Not sure exactly what the, uh, the wood stock is, but that's definitely a premium that you're paying over the standard Model 60. But you're also getting a commemorative model with the stainless steel finish and the nicer wood stock and so on. And then that takes us to new ammunition, which is going to be part two. So guys, that is it. That is my quick little recap of what's popping up on the guns, holsters, and gear.com article over the 2020 SHOT Show preview. I can guarantee you in the next couple days, in the next week, we're going to be seeing a lot more content added to this uh, article. So again, click on the article in the description box in the comment section down below. And uh, you can definitely check out this information for yourself and see the pictures if you're just here listening. But in the meantime, everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, please like and subscribe. Mash that bell so you don't miss any notifications. i got a lot more content coming your way. Again, this is Travis P11. Guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. Y'all take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.